gosh. We are at this place that Chelsea and Kristen told us about and people from my work told us about. It's called The Coop. Oh man, oh that's like the real entrance. Yeah. We parked on the wrong side, sir. Look at how cute this is, we're early. Hi. Hi. Good, how are you? We're uh, here early, she was really nice. She asked, how are y'all? Are we? Yeah. yeah, we all of a sudden like the dirty south. We are in, what is, what is the dirty south? Florida is like its own definition of the south because it's like tropical. Tropical, retirees, gators, gators international Whereas, folk. Like, there's farms here, but it's not the same. Everybody who lived everywhere else in the country in the world that moved here, except this is for coal. The, this is like the coal was born official, and raised. The official definition of the south. Everybody but coal. <laughs> No, Cole is Florida. Right, Cole's born and raised Polk County, baby. He's, he's my, my biggest pride and joy. But I wanted, to, I wanted to keep vlogging because I wanted to show you the sign here. Here it is, the Coop, a southern affair, Winter Park, Florida. <laughs> Here's like, on according to the maps, I would picture one of the like Main Street-esque things right here. Hmm. So we're gonna see, I'm sure nothing's open, but we're gonna look at stuff. We're exploring downtown Winter Park, Florida, and Sarah spots says they used to have wigwam village motels in Orlando. We went to one on Route 66. And we met a cat, we named the cat Satchmo. And um... You didn't take a shower because the shower was slanty. Yeah, I didn't take a shower. But what was I gonna say? Oh, that's what inspired the cozy cone. In, in cars. cars. Oh, there's more pictures. Park Ave mm -hmm. from 1885. I, I forget that Florida's like so old. Yep. Oh man. So, we, we always talk about if you've been watching us for probably a minute. At least uh, three months. You probably have heard that like our very first apartment was super small. It's like 400 square feet in downtown Chicago near Wrigleyville, Boys Town. It's our favorite apartment ever. They had down the street and we said this was super cool. It was a spice, this spice and tea exchange. And I didn't think that they were like a franchise or a thing. But right here, that's the same company. Yeah. The spice and tea exchange. Mm -hmm. You can go in there it's like just so all the good aromas. And I can't handle this, like, oh, look at Hidden Garden. They have a bunch of stuff like this, like, would you just call it open air? Like an open air mall entry, or like a, I don't know. But they're all miniature, miniature, so like, instead of having one big open air mall, there's like five or six of these, like, little ones with like three or four stores. Oh, look at, see, like, all the way down here, then there's like a, a pub, it looks like. Where are we, guys? I feel like Geppetto works in there. <gasps> Look at this cool place. Beer Raw Bar Oysters. Ebo. Atlantic Beer and Oyster. This is the stuff that we have to like venture out to the next time. Oh, these yes. And then we can convince them even more to move here. I follow this on Instagram. It's like Shrimp and Grits Kids? No. Max and Marmalade. Oh. It's like designer clothes for kids but for cheap. Wow. Yeah, it's like a thrift, it's like a glorified thrift store. Oh my god, but look how cute all this stuff is. Yeah, That's it's fine with so me. Cute. Look at this cool fountain. I bet it looks even cooler yeah. when it's on. You see there's there's these jets, but there's also if you look closely jets that make the strings of the harp. That's cool. And now uh now we're late to the opening of the coop, so Man. we're gonna head back now and get some good old chicken. Are you getting chicken? I'm getting some kind of chicken. I gotta go. You gotta coop and get some chicken for breakfast. Here we are, the coop. Yeah, uh huh. That's super cool. Don't be a chicken. Eat one. All right. So we just ordered. Peter got. What'd you get? Fried chicken eggs Benedict. And I got um, a coop scramble, which is fried chicken scrambled eggs and potatoes. But we were just talking outside about like why it's like even though we're city people why like route 66 and like small towns appeal to us so much and it's because we grew up in a small town in Chicago so we knew everybody in our town and it was like we lived in small town USA but we just happened to live by a really big city you can be in one spot of downtown Chicago and feel like you're in downtown Chicago the loop go six to ten minutes away, like only a mile, two miles away. Maybe in a whole different neighborhood with a whole different feel being like Greek Town or Ukrainian Village or yeah. Boys Town. All those different Gold Coast, like all those different areas have different feels and mm -hmm. vibes. 
So yeah, that is our like, we're like well-rounded or like we like a lot of stuff because we kind of like grew up that way where it was like city and small town at the same time. I'll call you later, okay? I love you so much. Bye bye. See you later. Oh, it's getting all foggy. Look at this cute little door. Gate. Magnet. So cute. F to you. Thank you. I didn't realize that, but that was one, like, one of the best meals I've ever had in my entire life. Yeah, like... Chicken was the best chicken I've ever had ever from a restauranteer. Better than Chick-fil-A. I think that's the best chicken ever. True. I just don't want to offend anybody that's family or friend or foe that has cooked us chicken that was really good. I think this serendipitously turned into like the best place for a breakfast because there's nothing better and consoling than like southern comfort food and that's like what that was in, a pit, in, in an epitome. And breakfast. And breakfast because we're like super pumped um, about today but there's also like nervousness today because nothing is guaranteed and we're optimistic but we just want to like have a level head. So those nerves are still there. So stuff yourself with carbohydrates and deep fried food. Now we gotta head back. Um, I think we now officially live in Florida. We've officially now driven behind a Jeep that's got two surfboards strapped to the top of it. We are 30 minutes, potentially 45 minutes early, but we're gonna go up there because they got HGTV on. <laughs> and, we don't have cable. And peppermints. Week. We um, are easy to please. Yeah. Later. All right, we're done. It was quick and easy. Yes. Like 15 minutes in and out. So, uh, like we kept saying before, like we'll update you as we get updates. Um, just want to throw it out there, like we're being real positive and everything, but please be respectful. We've said before that like we're really optimistic, but this whole IUI process does have less than a 30% um, success rate. So if we don't talk about it for weeks or weeks or months, even like. Please don't like ask if we're pregnant or if we're expecting or how things are going. We'll as as we get updates, we'll share them with you because yes. we do want to share this journey, yeah. but we also don't want people to think if we haven't talked about it in two or three weeks, oh, they have to be pregnant or right. it has to be failure or anything like that. So we'll update you guys as we seem fit. And I think we've been so open enough that like you help you guys feel like that's a genuine statement from us that we're not gonna hold back if we feel right to not hold back. Yeah. But now it's we're gonna go home. We gotta edit the vlog, rest up a little bit. We're, we might go out. We gotta see how we're feeling. Yeah. It is Saturday. It's only ten thirty in the morning. I know. What's the I'm Rapunzel line? Oyster, it's only eight in the morning. What does Flynn say? All the things we've seen, and it's only eight in the morning. Gentlemen, this is a very big day. <laughs> You can see another reunion. So, we used to say that Katie worked at Enzo's Hideaway and then we stopped because she got a YouTube and we were respectful of her <laughs> privacy. But now that she doesn't work here anymore, we'll talk about it again. Katie used to work at Enzo's Hideaway. She hasn't been back since she left, so that was like yeah, a nice little cute little reunion. Yeah, to see everybody. But we're gonna have dinner. At the, whoa! At the Edison. At the Edison. We haven't been to since the opening, really. Yeah, since the like soft opening, so the menu's even different. The they came by and took photos of us before we ordered and they gave us this postcard. So we got all four mocktails because we ordered three and they were like, why not just get the fourth? This one is apple. This I know, I'm excited to try that one. Mint and what do you say? Um, ginger beer. Ginger beer. This one's lemon with raspberry and then this one is the smoke and mirrors. Should we record ourselves taking them? Yes. Okay, so we were wrong. This is the lemon. Yes. Yeah, this Good. is the one I got it's on really the socket. Right. This one tastes like apple sauce. Ooh. Is that good? It's really sour. It's sour. Oh, I like that one. That one tastes like fall. Oh, this one? 
one does taste like fall. It just tastes like soda. So is it what? Soda. It tastes like when you mix like Sprite and like something together. Like, what? Hang on, my eye. Bad memory. <laughs> it tastes like, besides for the sourness, the like fruity flavor tastes like the fruit punch you get from like an old Chinese restaurant. Yeah. Oh God, punch from a Chinese restaurant. You have never gone to a Chinese restaurant? Yeah, a hundred percent. It used to come in a tiki like that. or a tiki cup. Yes, like the, yes. the old like Chinese restaurant fruit punch. That's exactly yes. what it tastes like. I think that the apple one's probably my favorite, but I also like this one too. I'll take this one. This one's good, but honestly, I feel like there's nothing special. Do mm -hmm. you like this one the best? Katie said that one's favorite. No, no, no. I like these two. I like them all. We can still sip and share. Sister share. Maybe <laughs> sister uh, twins. Okay. That was so bad. <laughs> I know. If you're gonna do it, you at least have to do it right. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This is the summer, the, the brat burger, sauteed onions on a burger on brat. Right a side of the mac and cheese. What's up with the mac and cheese? What's up with the mac and cheese? What's so special about it? Sarah got fish and, fish and chips. chips, classic. And I wanted to order this, and I'm kind of regretting it, but it still looks really good. Katie got the impossible burger. Well done. It's not meat, but it looks like meat. It tastes like meat. It's insane. And can I have a bite? Can I have a bite? There's absolutely no meat. But it tastes meaty. Weird. What'd you get? Chocolate no. From Pizza Ponte. These cannolis are delicious. Katie's never been in the newly redesigned world of Disney. First reactions. It's really nice. I miss the old, but it's yeah, nice. It doesn't feel like as themed. But, but it's, it's still really nice. nice. Yeah. It fits the theme of like West Side. Yeah. Or I mean like the marketplace, like so much better. Do you think we're going to Giordano, of course? It smells so Do you good. think it's pumpkin spice candy? Yeah. Oh. Not yet. I don't think so. I think so. The girl was too surprised when we brought it. I'm gonna day. guess milk chocolate caramel. I'm gonna guess pumpkin spice. I like the dark chocolate salted caramel. Yeah, that was the best that they've ever given out. Oh, it's the caramel. Darn it. Hold on. We just walked into anthropology. Look and how, okay, wait. This is a it's so heavy. This is a candle. I'm how many the price tag. How many wicks? Five. Was it five? Oh my this one's good. I I'm guess. I'm gonna guess $140. I'm going 120. Is it 78? 178! Oh, that's what I meant! <laughs> Let's go up to the the sweater. It's like weighted. It's so good. Isn't it so good? It's so soft. Can I live in it? Yeah. Okay. And it's got that like weight to it that feels so good. <laughs> one eyed, one horn, flying purple <laughs> people <laughs> eaters. I feel so fresh. I have more, I've been lotioning my hands. I sprayed my face with a coconut face mist. Where? Over here. This stuff. I want to spray it. Wait, if it has oil, I can't spray it on my head. Oh. Yeah, like Installations. Someday I'll have my eyelashes back. R.I.P. R.I.P. We're showing um, Katie Sugar Boo for the first time. She's never been in there. We also realized, now that we can say that since Katie you used to work at Disney Springs, we never came to Disney Springs with her. She was, we always visit her at work, but look at this sign. Go out and put good things into the world. I didn't realize that we had to teach Katie the Disney Springs costumes for the Brookhart Project. It's like, are we going already? We gotta watch. We gotta soapbox. We gotta listen to the music. So nice. We're home, clearly. This is our closet of games and Christmas stuff and calls. Thank you, everybody. We're home. Thank you for your kind messages today about the procedure. We appreciate the kind and good thoughts sent in our way. She's the best. Mm -hmm. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. P.S. This is tonight's movie choice. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.